So here is the Old Faithful, the MFJ 849. And now we're going to try something different. This is the CQV SWR 508. And did you notice I didn't plug it in because it's battery operated, which is also going to affect its SWR. If the power internal is below a certain voltage and it doesn't have the right kind of voltage regulator to, to get the power to the internal readings devices, that might affect your measurements too. Again, you just want to know that you're close enough. That's all that really matters. And it's got that cool zombie green color to it. So what we have at the top is Digital SWR meter 508. I like the digital versions because I want you to be able to read this easily and depending on camera angle, it doesn't change the, the orientation of the needle or anything. So that's why I have the, the digital meters. We've got a forward power graph. We'll show you some power readings. We're at 3.85 volts on the battery here. This is made by BG5CQV, which tells you why it's got the CQV name on it. We've got power, we've got SWR, we've got power max, we've got reflected power, we've got antenna wattage and efficiency. Everybody talks about efficiency. It's the new four letter word of ham radio, forward power and SWR in big numbers. And down here, we only had forward power and reflected power and SWR. So there's some extra information up top here. And this one is good for 200 watts. And I think that one, I think the top one is also. They're both good for 200 watts total power input. 